Hello friends, this is Umesh and today we will create this solid model in Annex Solid Modeling and if you will see here I have one top view and one section view AA so here it is AA and another side view and one detail view is also here see so that some dimension are visible here and first of all I will start with this side side portion this portion I'm going to create first then I will create this teeth okay so let's start with the solid modeling so first I am selecting this front plane and okay and starting with this origin and the shape is like this now dimension it and the dimension is this lower one is 125 diameter so half of 125 okay and the upper circle this C this outer one okay this is a radius from here to this point it is given as 72.88 okay or I can use this angle also either use the angle either use this OD so I'm using this OD and this is given as 53.75 and minus this 15 so this cap will come go to again this rapid and click here and it is given as 53.75 minus 15 right now finish it revolve and vector and axis is this one okay now I need this curve okay and for this curve I'm going to use helix so go to this helix and from here I am using this radius the start radius is because it is starting from lower side so 72.88 is this see this one okay or uh, reset it okay again I will do all the things and come here radius and from radius enter the radius is given as 72.88 click and the pitch pitch is given as 500 okay so change it to 500 and the height is this one height 53.75 minus 15 okay so height is also but still here we have some taper so I can assign using this linear or cubic and the start is here and end point is this so end point is 125 divided by 2 and see this it is a little bit cubic okay if the shape is cubic select this otherwise use linear and okay hide this one okay double click it and see the angle is zero and if you want to start from here so enter the angle as 90 so it will come this place now hide this and come to this and again sketch I want to sketch here click this okay or in the view okay and click this circle this and the circle is see this circle is given this one is 42.5 radius so 42.5 into 2 this is the radius diameter 
and uh, use arc this arc and this arc I'm going to create so click this and this here one more okay and add two point so first point is this second point is this and here I'm using this this point and this point and center line is this right now the gap is given as 15.8 okay select this and this make this coincidence this point and this make it coincidence right and uh, now add some fillet or okay let's add this fillet radius is 2 and 2 and I don't want to cut this so untrim click click now symmetric this point and this point symmetric about this vertical axis okay make this as reference and the gap is also given and the gap is given as 4.5 so I think the sketch is complete remove it remove this remove this right and uh, still it is not close so I'm adding one more circle because if you will create just similar to this it will close but when I use swept command it is not properly placed so I'm using a little bit bigger circle and now extend and before extend enter the radius so radius is given 100 and this is 122 and close right so this profile is done now extend it extend this close and trim now trim it okay finish it so section and path both are ready now go to swept this is the section and the guide is this one and from orientation I am using this face normal to face so select this see this is the result and click ok double click here and preserve the shape and you will see okay or I can use one more option and vector direction and my vector is a vertical one okay I think it is much better so click apply now I want to cut it so go to this subtract from this cut this body and okay and uh, still face is remain so delete and delete this face click okay now I'm using pattern feature and number of instance are 22 so select this swept okay and the vector is this one 22 click okay now you subtract from this I want to cut
okay hide this and go to this delete phase remove all these faces and okay now it is okay now see here uh, here it is 2.5 radius okay and now I'm going to apply this radius here so select either select all okay or second thing you can drag and drop okay so no problem I'm just selecting all these I can also use reorder so it will come properly but some reference may be missing okay now I'm going to cut this lower portion and for this I'm using this plane click orient the view okay and make the shape as it is visible okay now assign the dimension so go to this rapid and this is given as from here to this point is 45 so half of 45 right and close make this line and this vertical axis coincidence this point match with this oops undo first assign this gap this length is 10.75 and click it this point and this point coincidence right finish and uh, go to this revolve select it and the vector is this and change it to substrate so it will cut hide this sketch okay now from this top come to this top face here and see the 6 degree is the angle and 70 is the diameter so I am using circle with 70 dia now apply extrude and the extrude is 15 unite and draft this face is fixed and face to draft is this one and 6 degree right draft is also done and now this hole and this cut so select this plane come to this here again this and match Like this the gap is given as 20 so select this line and 20 and uh, this 
20 degree angle so angle from this line to this is 20 so half of 20 will 10 right and this distance is given as half of 35 finish I use revolve and cut this so this is a curve and vector and line is this one and subtract okay this okay add this sketch now I need a hole so go to this hole and this is a threaded hole threaded hole and M14 and 1.5 1.5 is not available so I'm using this click this and chamfer at the start and end both side it is chamfer see chamfer is available now and some more fillet uh, still remains so five radius fillet assigned here apply and inner one is two so two and select this okay so I think it is complete now let's see go to the section and select the section see match this whether it is matching or not see so this is the way how we can create this kind of shape okay thank you for watching and if you want to assign some material so click this go to this assign see